just how dirty is politics becoming in Kenya? If recent developments are anything to go by, it seems that the country has broken into new ground, yeah, as far as dirty politics is concerned. And this new development <laughs> is extreme, to say the least. Now, a very controversial video has gone viral online. This controversial video features the Wajir County women's representative Fatuma Gedi Ali. Now the video shows somebody who it is alleged is the women's rep having sex with an undisclosed and identified man. Rumors have been flying online that this man is a fellow legislator of the woman's representative. Now this is extreme and a new law in our politics. Now the big question here is who would want to destroy yeah, this married woman and legislator? And what would be the motive? Now the truth of the matter is that there is no confirmation and no verification that the person on this particular video that has gone viral is the women's rep for Wajia. Yes, the woman in the video very much resembles the women's rep. However, resembling somebody does not mean it is her. However, the point here is that at this juncture it does not matter. And this is why this is very damaging. And in my view, it is very unfair. I say unfair because imagine it was you. And then somebody started circulating such videos online. And let us assume you are innocent. It is not actually you. It is somebody who closely, closely resembles you. What would you feel? Now my point of making this video is to analyze the political repercussions and consequences of something like this, which indeed has never happened before in our country. All that we have had before are of a woman uh, legislator photographed. However, this is a video and it is extremely graphic. Now what we will do in this video, we will assume that it is not her in the viral controversial video circulating. And anyway, that is the truth because there's been no positive verification, there's been no confirmation where somebody can say for sure it is her. And let us analyze where her possible enemies, you know people would want to destroy her, are coming from. Now Fatuma Gedi Ali is one of the young legislators in parliament. She was only born in 1988. That would make her about 30 years old. She belongs to the Party for Development and Reform. Now in recent months she has come to the limelight and this is in connection to the controversial debate or rather report yeah, on contraband sugar that was shot down in parliament. You will remember that there were allegations that two legislators had distributed money to MPs so that they could shoot down the report. Kenyans were extremely angry that the report had been shot down yeah, because the repercussions and the implications are huge. You can imagine sugar, which is meant for human consumption, being found with the traces of harmful metals. Obviously, this is not a small matter. And then, MPs, yeah, instead of taking action to protect the people, the people who elected them, we have legislators in the House shooting down the report. Others allegedly watering it down. Now, the Kenyan MP, Kanini Kega, who was chairing the committee that drafted the report, named two legislators. Yeah, he claimed those two legislators were the ones who distributed money 
to the other MPs in order to shoot down the sugar report. Now the two members of parliament he named are Endebes MP Robert Pokose and of course the Wajir Women's Representative Fatuma Gedi. Now Fatuma Gedi has strongly denied these allegations. She has said that some of those MPs who have named her have personal issues with her. But she has not said what those personal issues are. Now this member of parliament has also been involved in another very controversial development or issue where she was refused a boarding pass meaning that she could not get onto an aircraft to make it on time for a celebration of the International Women's Day which was happening in Wajia, her home county. Now according to Gedi, she made it to the Wilson Airport on time, in good time. She said that since she was very heavily pregnant, she did not want to rush and therefore her husband had dropped her as early as 6 a.m. in good time. But in very strange circumstances that are yet to be explained, she was not allowed to board that flight. And so she missed it. In fact, what ended up happening, she was forced to charter a flight yeah, to Ajia. She didn't want to miss uh, that particular function. And <laughs> that chartering of the flight is said to have cost her slightly over 600,000 Kenya shillings. That is $6,000. Now this particular incident, which happened on 25th March this year, is a pointer. In fact, it's a glaring pointer. It's a pointer to the fact that this particular legislator has a history of being on the receiving end of what I would term sabotage. And obviously, whoever her political enemies are, they are ruthless. Yeah, because it didn't matter to them that she was heavily pregnant at the time. Even if it is politics, why do you want to mess up with a pregnant woman? Cause her distress, discomfort, frustrate her when she's facing so many other challenges. It is also instructive that we have had reports over the decades, over the years, in Parliament, where it has been claimed that money has been distributed to shoot down bills or to direct members of parliament to vote in a certain way. In fact, most Kenyans believe that our parliament is corrupt. Most Kenyans believe that it is indeed true legislators receive money to vote one way or the other. However, in all these decades, never before have MPs been mentioned. Yeah, never before as one legislator stood up and named another as responsible for distributing money. This was a first. And of course, such an allegation is extremely damaging. You see, Honorable Gedi comes from a part of Kenya that is extremely conservative. Conservative Muslim voters. And an allegation of bribery would be very damaging to her political career, especially because she represents women. Ordinarily, women are always much more sensitive to such allegations, you know, allegations of corruption and so on. Yeah, I'm talking about women voters. You can imagine what the impact would be yeah, of the alleged video which has gone viral on social media. Very damaging. And to make matters even much more worse for this member of parliament, she has always used social media for her politics right from the time she was campaigning. Yeah, she first stood for a parliamentary seat or a women's rep seat when she was only 25 years old. That was in 2013. And social media was one of her main platforms yeah, that finally got her successfully elected. Yeah, because in 2013 she was not successful, but in 2017 she was voted in. So between 2013 and 2017, she grew 
her social media network. And so obviously you can see that whoever wanted to destroy her, they yeah, knew what they were doing. Because they knew that this video would go viral on social media, which is her platform. The intention being to completely destroy her social media network, yeah, which she uses for politics. Very sad. In fact, her supporters have come out very strongly to condemn yeah, this particular video and say that it is the work of her enemies yeah, who edited this particular video in order to completely destroy her dignity as a politician and representative of the people. And it is interesting because these supporters have pointed fingers yeah, at politicians opposed to her development record. Now who could those be? Okay, we know one thing for a fact. Many older legislators who have absolutely no idea yeah, why they're in parliament and are in parliament only to make themselves rich, to make money, definitely never take kindly yeah, to young, energetic legislators who are out to make a difference. And the reason is obvious. This kind of legislators would make these fat, rich, old politicians look bad, look worse than they already are. Because voters would very quickly realize, Kumbe, these things are possible. You mean it is possible for a legislator, a woman's rep, to make such a huge difference? Then why is our MP asleep, you know, for instance? Why is our senator asleep? Why is our governor asleep? Kenyans will remember the trouble which Governor Alfred Mutu of Machakos got himself into yeah, amongst older, more established politicians who were not happy at the speed at which he was moving in in order to bring development to the people. People like Kalonzo Musyoka and the former Kangundo senator Johnston Mudama got very busy planting booby traps yeah, along the path of Governor Alfred Mutua. Yeah, most Kenyans know that story. And so it would appear yeah, that this young woman politician is facing the same enemies, you know, the same kind of enemies. Well, we shall see how this particular story develops. Yeah, and of course, as usual, I'll follow it up very closely on your behalf. But in my view, this is a very, very sad development. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha. Music